Hey everyone, so today is my last ever day working as a counter manager for Clinique, so I thought I would vlog the whole experience. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, I had a bit of a moment on there last night. Um, I gave like, um, I don't know, like a month and a half's uh, notice just so that they can train someone up and get someone in and I can kind of teach them everything. Um, and it was just like prolonging for so long and it wasn't, wasn't really until yesterday that it really hit me that today is my last day. I had quite a lot of customers come in and... Shut up! Just because you have no soul. <laughs> so I had a whole lot of customers come in and just say goodbye and yeah. They kind of triggered, I triggered and all of a sudden like yeah I was just like very very sensitive so... I dropped my baby off to school for the last day. <laughs> So here's my uniform. I'm gonna wear for the last time. I always used to get this so dirty. I still get it dirty all the time. So. And this is my counter, my baby. So I've been here for four years now. And yeah, so I'll take you into my office. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess actually. I just received these beautiful roses and these tulips today. I got these from my workmates. They're so beautiful. I don't think I've ever, ever received roses. And then, um, yeah, Sue, so who is the uh, counter manager that I took over um, four years ago, and we've stayed really close. Um, she's in her 70s now, dropped these off uh, yesterday, and it just like was in a flood of tears when she dropped them off. It was Hey guys, so it's about a week after uh, my last day at work and I'm not going to sugarcoat it, I'm so sick at the moment. You can see I've just completely broken out. <sighs> I'm so run down, I think just because of after everything my body just completely like shut down on itself. Um, I've got the flu and I put my neck out as well, so <laughs> great times, great times. Um, we're just in the middle of moving the house, so I'm in the middle of packing up my makeup room. The rest of the house is like completely stripped now. The garage is getting pretty full of boxes. PD doesn't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> um, all that stuff's gone. Trent's just finishing up the last kind of things in the lounge. Um, so yeah, we kind of stripped the, the house down to the last kind of things to live with until we move in a couple of days. My nose is nice and red, getting a wicked cold sore. I fucking hate moving, like moving is not for me. With all the dust and the shit around, my body just like <laughs> does not want to have a bar of it. So. Anyways, yeah, I don't think I've been overly emotional about the move. I just have been looking so forward to doing this already. Um, just with me like quitting my job and stuff like that. And then just being like, okay, we're getting to a new house and everything will just be like ridiculously crazy different so I've kind of already clocked out but admittingly like last night when I came into the house and we completely like emptied everything I was like oh my god fuck it's real now it's definitely very very real so yeah spent the first night in the house last night it was really cute like it's just a cute little uh, cute ass little house for us for the next I don't know like 12 months um, until the house is built so Peter seems to like it and it's got a cool little garden and I'm looking forward to just kind of being like spending a lot more time at home with my job and stuff and being able just to relax there. Um, so yeah, usually when I do a vlog there's a whole lot of furniture and shit in the background but there's nothing now so yeah, it is a little sad. I think it will probably kick in more like once I've spent a couple of nights in the other house and just knowing that I'm not coming to this home anymore whenever I finish a job or something I'm going up to the other house so I think change is super good. Um, I think I got a bit too comfortable and a bit too content with everything for a while there and I probably just got a little bit uninspired with life. And it sounds really depressing but that's kind of how I felt. Um, so a change, well there goes the door. Um, I think a change is really important just to kind of give you a new lease of life. Um, I don't know, it sounds kind of like weird um, by like moving a house but for me I think you know my environment and my surroundings need to be consistently changing and stuff like that for me just to have this like inspired spark about me. Are you having a sleep in the sun? I'll go back to sleep you poor thing. <laughs> He's so cute. 
This is the new makeup room trend and I decided would paint the walls white just for when I'm filming. I don't know if I really want like a dark green <laughs> as my background so that's our mission for today and then sorting out the rest of this disaster afterwards. looking like now so much more just fresh I'm finally set up yay there's just like a whole lot of clothes I've got to do a clothing haul for but this is kind of just gonna be my major backdrop for when I'm filming at my desk I picked this desk up by the way from a warehouse stationery for like hundred and thirty dollars so it was a really good buy so I'm just really happy with the paint job I'm so glad we did it before you know I really settled in otherwise it would have been a bit trying to move everything so yeah, it's not exactly how I want it just yet, it's a work in progress, but we'll get there. I plan on putting like some really cute frames up here on the wall, and then a mirror above my dresser here, so. So I'm just kind of packing everything up at the moment, I'm just about to head off to Wellington. I've been asked by the wags of the Wellington Phoenix soccer team to do their makeup for the A-League Awards, which is um, tomorrow night. So I'm just about to head off and do a four and a half hour drive. I actually really enjoy driving. I think you guys know I hate flying. Like I fly all the time but I'm not like the best of flyers so I'd much rather just drive somewhere and just have my music going and just chill. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna go do about five of their, five people? I think I've got about five girls that I'm doing uh, for their makeup. Um, I did it about two years ago and they rebooked me again for this year so I'm really excited. And then I'm also gonna be getting my hair done. Um, do a bit of shopping while I'm down there and I've also um, got the Mickey Maxima opening as well which I'll be attending so I'm really just wondering where my glasses are from. These are from Charlotte Lane. These are the key uh, collaboration with Jizzy. I really love them. They're so good. Super exciting. Um, I've just been lucky enough to get a sneak peek preview for everyone else. There has been a shit ton of people lined up out the front. Apparently some people were here like lining up around like midnight last night to get in for everyone else. So there's a huge line around the building, like right around the building. So super exciting. I just had an interview with One News about the opening. So many cool brands.
these beautiful flowers sent from the Mecca PR team here in New Zealand. Um, basically just for attending the launch, which is so sweet. Honestly, how pretty are these? I think they're from the Flower Lounge here in New Plymouth. Um, but yeah, so sweet. Could you drink any louder, Peter? Seriously. <laughs>